Is it really more advantageous to be flexible or overly flexible and practice yoga? I don't think so. Hi everybody, Janelle here from New Standard Yoga and Fitness Center. I wanted to talk today a little bit about this myth that um, a yoga practitioner whose body is really flexible and bendy is getting more benefits or is somehow receiving more from their practice um, or in a better position than somebody who is coming from a place of maybe um, a strength or tightness in the body. This is important to address because it's a really um, common misconception which I think number one it holds a lot of people back from actually going and exploring a yoga practice and number two those who are practicing I think that it um, doesn't necessarily help them in their journey to understand and explore what a practice can actually do for them. So I think the first thing that I wanted to mention was that it's um, easy for me to speak from this side of things um, because I myself have come from this side. I came from a place where I was really quite open in my body, but I didn't really have the strength that was needed for yoga. Um, some people, I would say, a smaller percentage of people come from this place where I'm at. The larger percentage of people are coming in with tight, stiff bodies, not really open, flexible, and then they look at another person whose body is more open and more flexible, and they're seeing that as the ideal, or they're seeing that as being, like I said, more advantageous. And the reason why this isn't necessarily true is because yoga is not all about flexibility. What? Are you sure? People think that yoga is all about being flexible. And I think the reason why people see it that way is because so many other forms of physical activity that we do do not place emphasis on the body being open. They place zero emphasis almost on the body being mobile and open and flexible but so much emphasis on strength and being sturdy and stability in the form of muscular strength. So then we go ahead and we look at a yoga practice and we say, well, it's all about flexibility and the more flexible you are, the better and the more you're getting out of it. Not true, it's not true at all. It really is about a balance and, and for the most part, I believe that it has a lot to do with restoring the body's natural ability, as somebody once put it to me, that you are working the body in a way that you're going back to its original blueprints, moving the body in the way that nature intended you to move, unless of course you were born with something yeah, that you know limited your ability in that way. So for me, going into a practice where my flexibility was actually really pushed and praised was not good for me because I needed to get away from that and I needed to go more into the opposite direction where I limited my flexibility. I limited my body's ability to um, go into the posture in its full depth because I wasn't able to therapeutically match it with my strength. So for me, I ended up overdoing a lot of things, overstraining, overstretching, injuries over time, and I've had to really work in the opposite direction. You know, I find, I think, I can't necessarily speak 100% for the other side because I haven't come from the other side. But from what I've seen in my own body and from what I've seen from other students, it actually is a lot more challenging to work from a place of flexibility and to build up strength than it is to actually go from a place of strength and, and maybe a bit more rigidity in the body to then trying to open it up and create more mobility, okay? I could be wrong, somebody could have the exact same story but coming from the other side of things. Um, but I do think that, you know, it's this common misconception that it's better or more advantageous to actually be super bendy flexible in your joints, in your body, in your muscles to do a yoga practice. You know, most people, what do they say when you ask them if they've done yoga or would they practice yoga? Their disclaimer is, I can't touch my toes. Who fucking cares? It's not really that big of a deal. Yoga 
really involves so much more than just touching your toes and bending and stretching the body, okay? Let me know what you think. If you have any additional comments to add, um, any opposing views would be great. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.